All right, the next exciting thing we get to talk about under announcements, presentations, and written communications is the Silver Rock Development Company's golf course realignment project update. And Steve, feel free to share all the excitement that has gone into creating this update. Thank you, Madam Mayor and City Council. Uh, how do I follow that? Yeah. I mean, Tim, he's been a great friend and a great colleague. And, and as for him not being a nine to five worker, I can attest to that because I know there have been times Lori likes to tell the story where she thinks she's going out on a Saturday night. So she gets ready to go out and Tim takes her on a tour of traffic signals. So <laughs> good Saturday night. <laughs> So the last time um, I, I gave a little brief presentation about the status of the Silver Rock project, it was just on hole number 18. Well, since then, every part of this project has now been touched. So we're going to fly hole by hole, and I'm going to give you a quick description about what's going on. Uh, in this photo right here, before I get it started, because it goes pretty quick, but off to the left is the tee box for the new hole number 11. This is a par three that shoots over water, so it's a reverse of our current number 17. And so this is, uh, the tee box is being built off to the left, and then the green is uh, also off to the left. <clears throat> so directly below us, uh, we'll, we'll get to this later, but this is going to be the future green for hole number 17. It's a par five. Off to the left, you see an island. That island is going to be the back tee for the uh, new hole number 12. It's a par five. And again, on hole number 12, all the tee boxes will play over the water. Uh, this is gonna change angles in a second. This will be the, uh, the green location for the new hole 14. I hope this rolls. Uh, unfortunately, okay, here we go. So this is off the island tee. And off to the left down there in the brush, you can see that's been cleared away. That's where the new tee boxes are going to go. And where the water feature narrows, where the palm trees are, that'll be a bridge cutting across. Uh, during the filming of this video, a drone was injured uh, <laughs> while it was flying along 15. Uh, to, our, uh, to our best recollection, a raptor took the drone out of the sky and decided to leave it on the side of the mountain. Uh, Tustin and I did find the drone. The drone is flying. It needs a new camera replaced, and Tustin is also recovering. <laughs> that should have been on video. We were hoping it was, but it, it was on his way back to him, so he didn't have the video recording. <laughs> so this is the new approach for hole number 12. There was a high ridge right below us in this shot right here where it made a blind final shot approach to the green. That's just being recontoured, so this is more playable. This wasn't really necessary for the realignment project, but it was a nice touch. It was, it was very good that Robert Green was willing to do this to make this hole even better. So here, this was the last footage of the drone before uh, we lost it. And so Randy Duncan finished this video with, with his drone. I guess everybody has drones now. So this is Randy Duncan's video. This is at the end of what is currently hole number 15, which will be the new hole number 14. Uh, the problem we had in the past with hole number 15 is the very narrow approach. Now that we're changing the tee boxes and shifting them over to the hole that's next door that'll be playing over the water, it gives a lot more room so we can move the green over towards the east. Uh, th this was yesterday. Uh, most of the grading has been completed. So uh, once, uh, once the, and uh, I'll, I'll explain a little more in a second about what the grading means. This is uh, hole number 17. So this is our par five. This is our final approach shot that plays over the canal. And approximately where the water truck is, that's where the new green will go. So most of the rough grading has been done. So what the gr rough grading does is it puts all the contours to the elevation that was designed by the golf course architect. He's actually out there today. He was out here yesterday as well. Now it's up to the, oh, this is hole number 18. So this is the one hole that I showed you the last time. Mm -hmm. This has been fully contoured now as well with the rough grading. So with the rough grading complete, it is now up to the golf course architect and the shaper to work together to dial in the, the, the finer points of getting it all shaped. And then the drainage will go in, the irrigation will go in, and then the planting. We're expecting it to be on schedule for July. 
will be the planting of the holes. Uh, the beginning of planting of the holes will be in July with the completion in August. So currently we are still on schedule. Uh, it seems like we're still on budget because it's not the city's money, it's a private contractor's money, but uh, we are having the uh, full transparency with the city, so all payments uh, for uh, amount of work is still coming through city for, uh, uh, for authorization. So that concludes my, uh, my brief flyover, so if there's any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. So the good news is it's on schedule. Teams are working together, greater, architect, landmark, city staff. Yes, we're, we're all having uh, weekly meetings on Thursday morning, so we all get together, and that's where we hash out any uh, uh, issues that might be coming up or just dis discuss issues of transition, how teams are going to be working together in the same locations and, and when holes are going to be turned over to the operator. And So those are things we're all still working on, but the project is moving according Great. to schedule. Very good. Thank you very much.